Hi, welcome back, guys. Okay, so today in Photoshop we will discuss about how to create a reflection in water ripple in the water. So I will take some born image. So we have, uh, it will be available in website easily. So I'll take this image and double click on that layer. Just double click on that layer. Cannot drag. Select. Sorry. Thread whichever portion you want to continue. Just select that. Uh, yeah. Say Control C, Control V, and Control T to transfer selection and right click and say flip horizontally so it will get flipped it will get a duplicate on that just adjust according to the wherever you want the water effect so you can tilt it wherever you want just adjusting that one so zoom out little bit squeezedness if it is required and same transform effect you can just try right click and say wrap so you can just adjusting wherever the point is required that you can adjust it manually mm -hmm. yeah this looks fine press enter yeah so press enter to finish that one again one so we'll take a razor tool so I'll just erase some extra whatever the pieces are there in the grass portion so i'm just erasing that portion let's clean up we can do it later also so presentation so i go to add a motion blur sorry not motion blur so i'll take a filter blur motion blur so I'll reduce the value just too much. Right? Okay, so sorry. First I need to change the oh, sorry angle. I need to change it to the like, horizontal angle. Yep. Little bit of blurriness. And, and yeah, I'll take one new page. So resolution around 600 by 1000 or yeah 600 by 1000 or any any ratio it should be lengthwise it should be high, height height should be more and width should be less just take like this page so you can create a nice effect just I'll fill the black color by pressing the Alt and Backspace double click and enlarge it add noise to that make sure this is on so uniform and I'll take a maximum noise. So, switch on this one. Say OK to that. And I will add some Gaussian blur to that. So, around very light amount, not more than that. Yep. So, I spin there. Now, so take it, go to channel. Take a red color. So, switch on this one. So, take a red channel. Filter. Sort. So, stylize. Yeah, where it is? So where is it? Mm, come down. Yeah, emboss. So I'll take the value one ninety degree. Yeah, sorry, one eighty degree. And amount will be full. Like around one to two hundred maximum amount. Say okay. Select the green layer. Do the same procedure, but change the angle. So just to create a displacement map. Okay, same angle will be like it's not compulsory exactly like that. This is not to like that. It will give you a good effect. Fine. Go back to the layer. Press Control T to for transform selection. Control T, or else you can go to Edit, see the transform. Yeah. Right click and say Perspective. Perspective, and drag this. That means the front layer, like the lower layer should look like a wavy and go back it will look like a blurry image so just widen up zoom and check press hit enter you can see that start looking 
Like the way we again stretch a little more. We up. Yeah. Stop that. So if you want, you can lock that one. Right click. On this, click again lock. So save this in the same PDF format only, not to take any other way. No, sorry, not PDF, PSD, Photoshop format. So displacement. Yeah, save this. Close this one. It's not now. So you can get a nice RGB color. Whatever. Yeah, I'll go back to this. Right click and convert to smart object so why because if you want to come back at any stage you can easily come back if you are not converting that into smart object you can't go to uh, take a displacement mm, value right now I'll keep it as a uh, 20 or 50 make it 50 we'll see how it look so it will ask for open a file so just add this one you can see that wavy reflection you will get this looks like a water so you can see some grass is this one okay let's see 70 how it works yeah little bit okay still mm, i want to erase some oh no it's not possible because it's a smart object so first disable this and right click again rasterize this one take a eraser tool and erase them neatly here we go <coughs> so I one convert into smart object again where it is already smart displacement so check the value you can see that one okay so wherever the two layer so like together I'll take a, a new empty layer take a brush tool so anyway, I have a black paint only. So let me separate opacity and you know, just paint this. Yeah, just paint it on. Okay, anyway, you can reduce the overall opacity. So I'll convert that. Uh, layer merging into the blender multiply and reduce the opacity we can see the dark space the another way is i'll show another way also how you can create it take a gradient sorry change the yeah change the color to black and white yeah this is the one so add black time it's a very difficult to maintain straight yeah fine and the same way again don't forget to do it to multiply them you can see the thin layer and reduce the complete opacity you can see that again you can press ctrl t and wrap that one again you can adjust it both are same no issue you can paint it or you can do like this way also just press with the hit enter to finish that <coughs> so if you want to make a water little bit difference in the color tone so what you can do take a new layer take the same gradient but change the gradient pattern so why it should be down and this one so kind of into screen then so you can see overall it will be blurred out I'll make a create clipping right down layer only will get effect so no 
okay uh, it's affecting on that i'll just drag drag this one completely below that so you can see that on the water layer only it's affecting and right you see you can see the difference between the virgin image and reflection water surface so just differentiate the color correct color tone between them yeah and reduce it so everybody can get a nice reflection a vivid reflection we want to change a little bit of adjustment uh, let me see can do that center to finish that Yeah. So a little bit more neat. Just see how this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you get like this grass or PNG grass. Just type grass PNG. You'll get a nice grass. You can add in the front layer to make something. So it's not necessary. You can add it for beautify the scene. That's it. Alright. Hold in the alter and drag that one. So make sure that you move to surface. Get it out. You can unlock that one. So can do a little bit of blur just paint the blur not much just, just a touch. thank you thank you very much